I've finally got a new garage door opener in here. This is the LiftMaster 8550WLB. It's got all the fancy bells and whistles. Uh, battery backup, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and MyQ connected. And boy was it uh, an interesting challenge getting this to work with our car. So we have an old, our old Lexuses, a 2005 and a 2015, not that old, but I guess old enough to where the home link buttons in those cars would not pair with this, I think because of the new, the newer rolling codes that Security Plus 2.0 whatever uses. Fortunately, there's a solution for that, and that is this uh, home link repeater. This is the 855LM uh, repeater kit. So this essentially, this comes with its own remote paired to this, and it, it, you program the, the repeater kit remote to this, and then use it to teach your home link buttons in your car how to open it and and this basically receives it it, it it talks through this to this this is a repeater so it, it it's a more compatible uh, whatever code frequency or code or algorithm or frequency difference whatever the hell it is um, so that that fixed our car issue so one other thing I that that I that I could not get working easily was my Insteon uh, IO link uh, opener here that I've, I've kind of got up here in a, in a weird power configuration um, And you might be saying dude, it's already got Wi-Fi my Q, whatever. Why do you need the Insteon? Well, you're right. I don't but uh, I thought it'd be fun to get it working anyway uh, so What I I the weird thing again about this opener is that the, the way the Insteon IO link normally works is you would send the remote contacts over to where the wall button would go in on the other side of the opener and uh, it would just kind of make contact or close the circuit there and, and send the pulse to, to the opener to open or close. Well, these new openers don't have that, that connection anymore. Uh, it's, it's more uh, smart, if you will. Uh, so what fortunately, thank you guys for the Insteon Smart Home Forums, they were like, look, just get a new remote and uh, have the remote send a pulse to the button or have the IO link what contacts pulse the button and and you get the same functionality so that's what i did oh we've got here we go uh, so enter the liftmaster 891 lm remote control this was another 20 bucks uh, so i opened it up took the battery out and uh, this is just a simple one button switch uh, and I kind of carefully soldered some leads onto these contacts on the back, TP3 and TP9. You could also use uh, the other side of the switch. I, you know, I tested them both and they both work. That just worked for me. Uh, so I, I got those soldered on there pretty well. And then where, where this lays in the, in the case uh, for the remote, I kind of notched out uh, an opening uh, for the wires so they're not obscured and the same thing with the top case so the wires can uh, oh, where are they? yeah there we go so the wires can escape without without interruption uh, and so what we're gonna do is connect these to the IO link and the IO link should then receive a signal from my phone to open or close the garage and it should send a pulse to these wires which should make contact with this button which should <laughs> send the wireless command from the remote to open or close the garage. So of course, as I said earlier, we've, we've got the MyQ app, which does open and close your garage. Um, it, it, this, this app actually has a nice safety feature, so if you're remotely closing it, it flashes the opener lights a, a bunch of times as kind of like a warning, hey, something's about to close, so get out of the way. The Insteon does not do that. Um, uh, so again, Insteon's probably not needed, but we're, we're gonna set it up anyway, so flipping back to the app, here we go, so there's my garage door I.O. link. So I've got it, kind of, it's got power, it's hooked up to my, my soldered uh, new remote, uh, and we'll, we'll clean up the wiring in a bit. I'm not using the magnetic uh, switch sensor that detects if the garage is open or closed, because I just, it's really ugly, and it, it's, it's really ugly, uh, and I didn't want to run. This new belt-driven track doesn't have like the wire uh, the wire track down it like that my old uh, screw drive one had. So I'm like, well, the MyQ app will tell me if the door is open and closed. The security camera will tell me if it's open and closed. We'll go with that. So anyway, 
Back to the uh, opener here, so we'll send the signal. There it goes. Nice. Sweet, sweet, sweet. And so there's Lexus number one, Lexus number two. Okay. And we'll uh, and we'll close. A lot faster. A lot faster. Um, again, the My IQ app, great app. It uh, it just takes a while to, uh, to to because of the safety feature. And there's the there's the notification from IQ. Garage door just closed. So. Um, so there you have it. So if you have old cars and a new opener, there's a few things you can do to get your cars working with it, your Insteon stuff working with it. And uh, yeah, good luck. And if you have any better ways to do this, uh, be sure to make your own videos and reply to mine or post in the comments. Thank you.